What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Trading Wars. Thanks for joining me today. Welcome, my friends, to day one of the Day Trading University, hosted by myself, Rich at Trading Wars, guys. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time, and I'm very happy and pleased that um, I decided to start this trading university. It's something that I think is going to help a lot of people, and today's topic is about automation, okay? So hit me with a one if you can hear me loud and clear. Let's do some shout outs and we'll get right into the class first and foremost guys go to tradingwars.com resources and click on day trading university lesson one automation okay so i put together this rough course outline for today and um, i want to share with you guys completely free let me just link it in the chat and we'll go through it together it, i did it a little bit in a rush i kind of didn't have enough time but i'm gonna be trying to make this even better for the next classes that are coming up. And I'm trying to do at least one of these classes per week. So today's topic is about automation. Okay. So let's do this guys. All right. So first thing, let's start off with what is automation, All right? So today I used automation on Uber and I made $2,428. Okay. Hit me with a 10 if you guys can, if you guys have the notes. Okay. And let's go right, let's go through them together. So automation is focusing on two levels that's what i do so everything that i'm sharing with you guys is my what i do my experience okay so i have a long level and a short level and i really like this type of trading because it's very beginner friendly you have one long trade one short trade whichever one hits first that's the trade you're going to take and you let the price action play out so let's go back to an example of uber and if you scroll down there's also an example from MU for last week, $2,883 in profit, where I showed the same type of concept. And this is another example you can refer to. So let's go ahead and let's do Uber. Okay. So where does it start? So it starts off right here, guys. So I post these picks every single day um, for you guys. And yesterday we had Uber right here. So there's always two levels there's a long level and a short level so long means i'm gonna go bullish i want it to go higher short means i'm gonna go bearish i want it to go lower so we'll go ahead we'll hit the replay on today's price action and then i'll draw out the lines for you guys okay so it's very important to have your lines drawn so let's go ahead and let's draw them together so here is the 24th this is yesterday's price action so let's go ahead and draw the previous day's high which is right around here and we'll draw the previous day's low this is going to be our reference point, okay? So when we're trading this, there's only a few things that can happen with the candles. So the candles can either open inside, okay, that's inside the range of the previous days. It can open above or it can open below. All right, hit me with the 15 if you're following me. So these are the three situations that, the, that can happen with the candles. So this is the previous day's high right here. This is the previous day's low. So the triggers, the automation, what I'm trying to do is say, okay, now I'm going to add two more lines. One line is going to be where I'm going to go long. One line is where I'm going to go short. Okay, so here we go. So back to the post. So we're looking long above 30.98. Go ahead and put that in. Right there. Put that in green. So that's where we want to go long. And then we want to short. 3031. Okay. Copy, paste. Bring that down. Right there, put this in red. Okay. All right. So now we have our chart laid out. Okay. Let me just move this. Let me move this to the bottom. It's the corner. So we know now that any one of these three situations can happen the next day. Okay. But we have our levels right here. So we want to go long. On the green line, we want to go short on the red line. So if you look at this, guys, what you'll notice is that my levels are always slightly below the high or slightly above the low because what I'm trying to do is get in an advance. A lot of times when you trade as a new trader, what you'll find is people will tell you, okay, this is a resistance, take the breakout. This is a support, take it when it breaks down, okay? Or this is the breakout point. However, what I found from trading over you know almost a decade is that I want to get in before the move so that I can make the most money. So if I get in long here, I'm not waiting for this the yellow line. So that means that I can make more money because I'm getting in at a cheaper price. Even with the 20, if that makes sense. 
Okay, so let's go back to the notes. Okay, so we have two levels, a long level and a short level. I show an example here of how you can input them into the broker the night before. So throughout the day, the broker will fill the open orders and it will either hit the stop loss or the target. Okay, so now let's go ahead here and let's add the stop loss in the target. So for that, I'll have to go into the Discord and you can use your own stop losses and your own targets. You don't need to use mine, but here's my example here. So my stop loss on the long is 30.74 put the stop loss on white. Okay, so that's my stop loss on the long. And then my stop loss on the short is 3055. We're going to focus on this for now. And then we're going to add the target after. So if you were to draw this using the long tool, this is where I want to go long. This is my stop loss. Okay, if you draw it using the short tool, this is where I want to short. This is my stop loss. Okay. So we have our chart ready. So you set yourself up. You can put these orders in the night before using um, automation in the broker. So what I like to do is use a bracket order. So let's continue with the lesson here. So when to use this strategy. So I love using a strategy when the price action is consolidating and the ranges are getting tighter. So if we look back at Uber, one of the reasons it was my pick, right? is because if you look at the last two days, we had a big box, small box. So this is the bigger box. Okay, this is the price action from Monday. Sorry, Friday. This is the price action here from Monday. So what you'll see is that there's this range getting tighter and tighter. And it'll look like a pennant or a triangle. All right? So let me just remove that now. So that's the situation when I like to use it. And Here's the video on the big box, small box strategy. There's a full guide. So remember for that setup, I always post those picks for free. So I post those picks right here on the YouTube and I also post them on Twitter. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you're following because I post those. I do the scans every night. I post those picks for you guys so you don't even have to worry about that. All right. And then what instruments can be used? Okay. So before we get into this, let's go ahead and let's look at the trade. All right. So now we have our situations here. We're ready to go. Let's play the first five minute bar. Boom. Okay. So here's the first five minute bar. So what happened here, guys? What happened here? Did we fill? So you could see we opened inside. All right. So here's our stop loss here. We opened inside, right? We didn't, we didn't gap down. So let's get rid of the gap down. Let's get rid of the gap above. And you'll see we touched the red line. So are we long or short? Hit me with the one for long. Hit me with the two for short. Which trade filled right away at the open? Which trade? One for long, two for short. Okay, so you could see our short level was 3032. And this candle within the first five minutes touches the 3032. So we're in short now. So we're short. So then when I when that's filled, guys, I remove the long. Okay, I'm not looking long anymore. Now we're just dealing with the short. Here's our short setup. Okay, so here we go now. So here's our stop loss for protection. We're in the short right here, guys. All right, boom, boom, boom. So we just let the price action play out. Okay, we went sideways for a while. And then what we're really trying to do here, guys, we're trying to hit our target. There we go. And what I use for the targets here, guys, you can see I have I have them written out here. But generally, what I'll show you is I like to use this previous day's range, which was right here. And the goal is to get to the bottom of the box. Okay. But as we're going to the bottom of the box, we're going to be taking profits. All right. So here we go. Let's play this out. Now I'll just fast forward. Boom. So you see that, guys? You see, right at the end of the day, how we clipped the box. This was the day's range on Friday. So right there, um, $2,428 on Uber. Okay. So that was the trade. It's just one trade. I got filled short. There's my stop loss. And then I'm scaling out, trying to get to the bottom of the box. Profit locked in. Hit me with an 11 if that makes sense. So let's go back here. So for this particular trade, I use shares. Which shares you can use a bracket order. So you can have an entry, a stop loss, and a target that you set up the night before in the broker. Okay, and I have an example of, with Baba there. With options, however, so you can use cash account or margin for shares. With options, you can use cash account or margin as well, but you need to use something called conditional orders. Okay, conditional orders, I have a full guide below. Where's my conditional orders guide? Did I put it in here, guys? So I have a conditional order. Where 
are you? Here we go. So conditional order guide right here. Shit. Access denied. So it's at the bottom of this video, guys. Let's pull it up together. One second. I'll pull it up together just to show you guys. So for those of you using options, you need to do a conditional order. Okay. So right here, this is my YouTube channel. This is the video that you need to watch that has it. And if you go to the current video right now, guys, okay, so right here, you just go show more and you click right here, conditional orders, okay? So this is showing, this is the guy that used interactive brokers in order to set the conditional order. And I've done a lot of videos on that. So I don't want to spend too much time going through that um, because you can just watch the videos. But the problem, the only problem with the options is you can't do a bracket. So you can't really set a target and a stop until the trade is executed. That's based on what I know. So there might be another way to do it, but based on what I know, if the option needs to fill, then you can go ahead and get in uh, with the target and the stop loss, okay? Now we have futures. So futures is a very special situation because with futures, you can enter the futures trade overnight as the triggers can fill after hours. Futures requires margin. That's the only difference between these two other options. So you can bracket your futures order with an entry stop and target, and you can trade both during regular trading hours and overnight. So this gives you an ability to enter trades at any time and is great for those who live in other time zones that can't trade the New York Open. So I have a lot of um, clients that work in um, Europe or in um, Singapore, a lot of Singapore people, and the time zone is not feasible. So there's a futures course there, okay? And just to show you an example, so with our triggers, so we have triggers that we use on SPY every day, right? So the same thing right here, and I put it long stop target options. And we do the same thing with futures, okay? So you can also, if you want to get in overnight, that's when you start using futures. That's when you can really take your trade to another level if you want to play that game, all right? So that's a dangerous game to play, but it's very, very profitable as well. You just have to make sure that you know what you're doing when you're playing with margin, okay? Why do I, why do I trade with automation? So it removes the human emotion out of trading and allows me to trade a variety of setups. That's very important. I have one long, one short. Keep it simple. I trade a variety of patterns. It saves time by inputting the orders in the night when the market is closed. So you don't have that human error when you're rushing into the broker. Oh, I got to put this in. It's, it's going without me. It's great for beginners who feel the charts are moving for moving fast. And it's very important for those that have other time commitments or working in nine to five and still want to trade in the market. And below here, I put an example of MU from last week, entry stop target. And this is where we called it out on the Twitter. All right, so the free setups are on YouTube and the Twitter. MU was still short. I use shares in this example, and then I have some more um, resources for you guys. All right, so hit me with a 17 if that all made sense. And let's go back to the lesson. Okay, so to summarize, trigger trading is two lines, a long and a short. I do it through automation. I set my orders the night before. When you're using shares, you can do a bracket. Futures, you can get in after hours. And options, you need a conditional order, okay? And what I do with these guys, I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these trades, and I'm planning to actually show my full list. I think I've done maybe three or 400 of these trades, um, but you guys got to hit me with that like button, all right? Hit me with that like, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a sneak peek for lesson number two, which is going to be on the Fibonacci. Okay, I'm going to show you that one just in a second, but I really want to take some time to just shout out two more things. Okay, so first and foremost, if you are watching this lesson right now, um, what I'm going to do is this every time I do a lesson. So I might do one a week and I'm going to show you all my strategies and I'm going to go to beginner things and do everything that I can to make this university successful. I'm going to put together study notes for you guys as well. So anyone that's watching this um, university class, the seminar, whatever you want to call it. You have 24 hours, okay, 24 hours from the day that this is completed to get a copy of my book, all right? And that, what it does is it's not, not only does it support me, guys, but it's going to give you access, oops, trading fours. I'm going to go back here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so it's going to give you access to the Discord. So you don't have to do any of this, but I'm just putting this out here. Any of you guys that want to take this to the next level and come trade with us live every day in the Discord, if you're watching this, whenever I do a lesson, you have 24 hours to get a copy of any one of my three books. If you get any one of the three books, guys, instead of 30 days in the Discord, you're going to get 60 days for the price of $100, and you're going to get my indicators for life. So I wanted to put that out there, all right? So I wrote it down here. 
you can email Rich at Trading Wars and I'll manually go ahead and make sure you get 60 days. Also, guys, if, if that's out of your budget or if you just want to find another way to support, you can join the Trading Wars Army. So the Trading Wars Army, guys, is $4.99 a month and it supports me and helps me keep doing these videos. But also what it does, guys, is you have exclusive content. So if I go right here to my post, what you'll see is every single day you see members only. I do exclusive posts for the Trading Wars Army that has special swing trades, special setups, et cetera, et cetera. So you can go here, guys, and click the join button for $4.99. And um, that'll give you exclusive access. And what I'm going to do right right now is I'm going to start the hype train. Okay, I'm going to show you the sneak peek for the lesson tomorrow. But here's the hype train. If I can get five people to join this week, okay, if I can get five people to join the army for four ninety nine, I'm going to live stream on Friday. Okay, so if you if you want to join it from the video, this is what you do. Go right here and click to join. All right. So I'm going to give you guys until Thursday. If we get five people sign up. We're going to do a live stream on Friday. All right. So I wanted to put that all out there. All right. So let's move now into our sneak peek for the lesson number two. I don't know if I'll do it this week or I might do it next week, but it's about the Fibonacci. Okay. So we are here on SPY. All right. Hit me with the 20, guys. If you're enjoying the content, do you like this? Let me know, man. This is something I just thought about today. I just had a gut feeling and I'm just going with it. So let me know in the comments right now. Hit me with a like. Leave some comments below. Let's go ahead for a sneak peek of lesson two. Lesson two will be about the Fibonacci in the full range. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's look at that right now. So with the Fibonacci guys, you don't really care about um, what's happening on the chart in the previous day for this particular Fibonacci strategy. All you care about is understanding what's happening in the moment. Is this a bullish uh, direction or bearish direction okay all right yeah we can if you guys want to ask some questions we can ask them at the end so here we go first five minute bar came in boom 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 there we go okay so generally with the fibonacci strategies what we do is we wait for a few candles to understand the direction of the day so if you look at this right here, one, two, three, four candles, what direction is this? Hit me with a one for bearish, hit me with a two for bullish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Fibonacci live setups today and I'll walk you through. Okay. So every day we go live in the Discord with the Fibonacci and we wait for that one or two life-changing Fibonacci setups. We just hunt for them. I love Fibonacci because someone even asked me this today. Hey, Rich, how do, if you send me the alert, will I, like, will it come too late? And that's such a good question because most people do that, right? Say something goes up 10%, then they'll send you an alert 10 minutes later. Oh, yeah, I got this. I'm up 10%. However, with the Fibonacci, the Fibonacci is the truth because what the Fibonacci does is you can see here, guys, is we draw the Fibonacci in real time and we put the order and we let it come to us, okay? And that's the only true way of, of, of giving a signal, let's say, or giving, you know, showing your trade. The only real way to do this, my friends, is if you call it out well in advance. Anybody that's saying, you know, in hindsight, hindsight trading is a very powerful thing that anyone can trick somebody with. So I want to make that clear, guys. Someone asked me that question today, so I want to make that clear. All right. So we could see here we had this bearish leg. So what we did initially, we drew our Fibonacci from high to low, okay, because we could see that impulse. What we're looking for here, guys, is just a 618. That's all I want you to focus on. And then we're looking for a pullback into the 618, guys. But instead, so you can see right here, we tagged it, right? In real time, unfortunately, this was so fast that we didn't get filled. So what do we do in that situation? So I'll show you what we did in there. We just go ahead and just move our anchor now down to the next point, okay? So you can see here, this came in at 1048. We drew up our Fibonacci together. So let me do the same thing for you. So this is 1025. This is 1045, okay? So there's our high, there's our low, all right? So we have this drawn up together. You can see right here we have this drawn up, okay? So now what we're doing is we're waiting for that 618 to touch it to short, okay? So this is a sneak peek for the next lesson. And what we're saying is if we look at what happened in the morning so far, there was a lot of selling. There was a lot of pressure. Look at the size of this candle right here. Look at the size of this candle, guys. That's a big bearish candle, okay? Big bearish candle right there. So we're saying, hey, you know what? This short, if we pull back, this short might try again. It's going to look for another opportunity because it was a, there was already selling there. Okay? There was already selling there. So right here, you'll see 618. So we have a Fibonacci bot that helps us out in the, in the group. 
um, that I, that we created basically it just helps us to say when we're filled and when the targets are hit. So everything is mechanical and everybody knows what's going on. So at 1120 is when we got filled short. So let the, let this play. There it is. So we got filled at 1120. Thankfully for this one, we were able to catch it because we had enough time to put the order in and let it come to us. Okay. So there's our fill at 1120. And you can see right here, target hit, target hit. We sniped an algo, sent some energy. Boom. Okay. So check this out. Boom, 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 boom. New low. The end. All right. You can use futures, shares, options, whatever you want. A play like that on option, guys, depending on what your DTE is, that could be easily between, you know, 30 to 100 percent or depends on what your fill is. You got a good fill. Could even be more. OK, so I'm just going to fast forward here. Bang. So that was just, you know, if you really caught this one, guys, with options. I'm, to, I'm easily 150 percent plus. All right. So that was the trade we took on the FIB. That's going to be the next lesson. Hit me with a five if you guys are hyped up for that lesson, because I know you guys love the FIBs. But I wanted to start with the beginner stuff. Trading just two levels is beginner, long and short. You don't have to look at the price action. You don't have to say, determine what direction is happening. You just have your levels. So I wanted to start off with that and I'm going to move on to some more advanced things. All right, let's open the floor up to some questions right now. All right. Did anybody join the army? Did I miss anybody? Come on, guys. Let's let's get five people. We can do it, guys. We'll go. I'm going to go live on Friday. We can do it. Um, ask your questions now, guys. Let's go for it. All right. And don't remember, don't forget about the deal. Like I said, okay, the sale perks, if you're watching this course, you're obviously investing in your education. You're taking this seriously. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to give you 60 days in the discord. Come learn, watch, study, paper trade, practice, come to the community. There's a lot of us that trade in there. Been trading for a long time, guys, not saying we're going to make money or lose money. That's, you know, what we're going to do is learn how to manage our risk. That's what trading is about. Manage our risk. So that's the deal there and the Trading Wars Army deal as well. All right, so I'm going to take some questions. We'll wrap it up. So she Shannon right here. A lot of those contracts went up 250 to 300%. That's awesome, brother. What do you do when market level look like is going to gap up like Wednesday, April 26th? So if you're talking about the triggers, you just leave your order in. So like, for example, if Uber had opened here below our trigger right there, then what we would do is just wait for it to come back and touch it. And if it doesn't ever come back and touch it, then we never take the trade. Are there times when you wouldn't take the 618 retracement when it gets near? Um, what I'm doing from a mechanical perspective when I'm trading is I just trade it every time. Um, once I see the setup, I take it. Some are going to win, some are going to lose. But I know when I win, I'm going to win. My my payout is going to be a lot higher than my loser. So that's, I just take it as is. I don't second guess the, the setup. I know it's not always going to work, but I just play the odds. I play the risk to reward isn't futures expensive from tyrone um uh so you need margin okay so generally for one micro contract you need about two thousand dollars in your account but that doesn't mean that's what you're risking right if you take if you're doing a micro one one point is five dollars so if you risk if you risk you know let's say you do five points that's 25 dollars risk but you need the capital in there to maintain it and the reason why is because if you try to get in overnight that's when they require some more margin but day trading margin is a lot, a lot lower than overnight margin so in the case, what is your stop loss? For the Fibonacci, the stop loss is always the swing high. So if you get in here on the 618, your stop loss is the high. If you went long, then the stop loss will be the low. So it's the yellow line. Um, see right here, Shannon. What I just some because uh, per action today with the late they saw. Okay, sounds good, brother. I don't know if that was a question or a comment. When do you move the starting anchor down? So you keep moving your anchor down until you retrace. Okay. Keep moving your anchor down until you retrace. What option do you buy on SPY? So for me right now, I'm doing mainly futures on SPY. I'm doing ES. Okay. So I'll show you right here. So make sure you follow. Uh, so my younger brother, he, he does the trading for a small account and he documents all of his trades right here. So this was this trade we took in the discord and this was the broker statement. So you could see MES is the micro 13 contracts right here, 11,000. Sorry, $1,121 in profit. So futures. I mean, I, if you want to do options, you can as well. But when you want to size up a really, really heavily, I love to use futures because the commissions are lower. All right. So there we go, Matt. Hey, I thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you coming out to class today. I want to be your teacher to the best that I can. And I just want to spread the knowledge. Uh, it's like bottled up inside of me. And sometimes I just, I just love to help people like you guys. And I don't want you guys to go through what I, I did. Uh, when I first started trading, I lost uh, 20,000 right off the bat following, you know, people that, 
you know, claim that they know what they're talking about, but are really just doing hindsight trading and um, not teaching risk management. I think that's the most important part. Somebody that's not teaching you risk management is, is going to kill you in the long run. And I just want to make sure that I'm trying to give you guys the best concepts. You see, I always have a stop loss guys and, and target and try to manage these things properly. Thank you very much for your time. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this. And if you want to see part two with the fibs, I have a goal guys for this. 100 likes, 25 comments will equal a giveaway, okay? 100 likes, 25 comments will equal a giveaway. We'll do it on the next um, next cast right there. And before we leave, guys, I owe the Trading Wars Army members, I owe them a giveaway, okay? So I need to do one for the Trading Wars Army because I didn't do it on Sunday. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to give me one second, guys. Let me just do a quick giveaway here. Uh, so your channel... I really thank you again. I know you got your time is valuable. And I I had a lesson today that I remember a long time ago when I started of just con try to be as much service as you can to others. And I'm really trying my best. All right, here we go. The winner of the Trading Wars Army giveaway is Simone Patterson. Thank you for being a Trading Wars Army member. Really appreciate you. Just hit me up on the email or the Discord and I'll get you your one month free in the Discord and your book of your choice. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Send the energy. Let's get out of here. Take care.